Hi to everyone who's watching. Uh, this is Aaron and Maeve here from Kisho. We have with us today Dr. Matt O'Till. He's here to speak to us today about COVID and what are the best practices to keep us safe and prevent the spread of COVID in our skills. So we're going to have a Q&A session. The questions will gather from our teaching staff, from the students and from the parents as well. Okay, so I'm going to ask the first question. And I suppose the reason, it might seem like an obvious question, but the reason we're all here is because of COVID. So I suppose we'll start with what is COVID? So COVID is a virus, um, like many of the viruses. So we have a few viruses that people will be aware of. So one is the flu virus, which kind of circulates every year. And the other is the, the common cold virus. Um, and it's a virus that we knew nothing about six months ago. Um, and now one that we know a huge amount about. Okay. And... Um, how does COVID spread? So COVID is what we call droplet spread. So it's spread in your droplets, so in your saliva essentially. So what that means is that if you cough, um, that that's how COVID is spread. Um, and importantly, the droplets remain on the surfaces. So if you cough into your hand, for example, the COVID virus remains in your hand. If you then go and touch the door or the table, then you're spreading the COVID onto the door and the table. So it's droplet spread. So that's the way that COVID is spread. And importantly, we know now that COVID can survive on hard surfaces for up to five days. So that means, for example, if you were to cough on the table or onto your hand and you touch the hand off a door handle, theoretically COVID could live on that door handle for up to five days. So that's an important thing to know. So what are the symptoms of COVID? Like how long does it, and how long does it take to display the symptoms? So the commonest symptoms of COVID are fever, which is a temperature of about 38 degrees, a cough, uh, shortness of breath where people just feel like they're not able to catch their breath as easily as they were, uh, and then two unusual symptoms. So people can describe either a change or a loss in their sense of smell or their sense of taste. They're the commonest symptoms that we get with COVID, uh, and about 80% of people would have one or more of those symptoms. Can you get the virus more than once? No. So we're fairly confident now that you can't. Uh, that said, the virus has only been around for about six months, and what we know about COVID is changing. Um, but from what we're learning from particularly China uh, and South Korea, it doesn't appear that you can get COVID more than once. What do you do if you feel unwell in school, say? So if you feel unwell in school, uh, and that could be you might feel like you've got a temperature, you feel like you've got a cough, um, or you just might be generally unwell, um, the first thing you should do is to put your hand up uh, and ask to be excused uh, and then discuss that with the teacher uh, and advise them that you feel unwell, whatever that is. Uh, and then what will happen is you'll, you'll be self advised what the teacher will do is they'll bring you into your own room um, and you'll be brought home um, by, your, by your parents. Um, and the reason it's important to do that is, as we know, uh, if you have symptoms that could potentially be COVID, the concern would be that you will be spreading. So the most important thing to do is if you have any concerns at all that you might feel unwell, that you let the teachers know as soon as possible so that they can take you out of the classroom uh, and then make sure that you're safe at home and then to make sure that your parents are aware so they can contact the GP uh, to get you tested if need be. So to add to that then, if you're feeling unwell at home, what should you do in that scenario? Yeah, so if you start to feel unwell at home, then the first thing to do is to tell your parents um, and what they will then do, depending on what, how, you, how unwell that you feel, is they may contact your GP. So again, if you start developing cough that's new, if you develop a fever, like I was saying, a loss in your sense of smell or taste, or you just feel unwell, the first thing to do is to discuss that with your parents. Um, and then what they may decide to do then is to, to give your GP a check. But the most important thing to do is not even to think twice. If you feel unwell at all, tell your parents, um, and they'll first of all they'll give you advice, but they will then contact your GP. And what can we do to protect you know, ourselves and our family? What can we do to protect? from COVID? So COVID is a disease that spread through close contact. So what COVID likes to do is it likes to move from one person to another and the way that happens is to be close to other people. There's a few simple things we can do to prevent that from happening. So the first thing we can do is to put as much space between ourselves and the people as possible. So ideally two meters and um, but a minimum of one meter. So to stay away from other people as much as possible. And the second thing we can do is what we call cough etiquette. So if we cough or sneeze that we cough and sneeze into our elbows. The third thing then is we wash our hands, and we need to wash our hands well and frequently. Um, so when you say well, it's a minimum of 20 seconds. And frequently, any time that you touch a hard surface, you should decontaminate your hands with alcohol gel. The fourth thing you should do is wear a mask. So in situations, particularly indoors, 
where you can't put a meter between yourself and other people, then you should wear a mask and you should make sure that you're wearing that mask properly. So they're the kind of four simple rules. You just think of it that you need to put something between yourself and other people and ideally that space, and if you can't put space between them, then put a mask between yourself and other people.